What's up gamers, um, TJ and Mini here, um, bringing you some Deusex, um Human Revolution gameplay, um, so this should be good, um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, let's get started then. Ooh. Uh. What should we go for, do you think? Um, wow, I'm playing on Give Me a Challenge because it's kind of medium and you can change it in the in game so All right, okay. it kind of doesn't matter. Alright, cool. <laughs> Waiting for this to load? Yeah, this is quite like a high graphic game and there's a lot in it so it does take quite a while to do some of the loading screens. <laughs> really is taking a while, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it won't crash. Oh, there we go. with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we meet them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We can do the most of it. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time. Now, by going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human controlled evolution available to all. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Beggin, we're leaving for D.C. and... Adam, you're there? Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Whoa, into his head. Awesome. So that first bit was pretty much just like a meeting they were having about the person you just saw on the big screen there, David Sarri. Um, that's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. So, um, Minnie is just pretty much 
raiding um this doctor reads um emails and ebooks. Yeah. <laughs> um so as you can see there's a lot to interact with. I mean like things like that you can't interact with but there's like ebooks and computers which you can interact with. Um, so it's got like so much detail into the game it's just like hard to resist in touching things. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Sarah. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow sense. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Lee. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Do you know about that? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the cytometer. I'll ask I'll David about this. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yes, yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing good. Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh, dear. Oh, Eddie. Boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Mia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sachenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the open. Here, watch. Go ahead. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. I admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Or I like everyone, don't you read? Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> into the camera. Mm. <laughs> right. Interesting intro. Yes. Do you know what all those robot things are? Well. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk you away. He's got big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I sent it in the yard, like you always said you were going to. Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Richard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find a loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Sarah has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track her scientist implanted local Wow, devices. you got two clicks there. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up, they will. How wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
White House. Uh, Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Daryl, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. I'm going to get somebody shot off the damn racket. So, um, something bad's happened. Um, don't know what yet. Um, so, we're going to stop here, and so you're not going to see what this is until the next down. episode. Um, so, we'll see you next time, guys. Um, for more Dare Sex, thanks for watching. Um, like to help us out, um, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, see you next time, guys.